and under control. I understand uh, you've just been to DICE. Yes, I have. So yes, I have. We've pulled you away from the battlefield. Yeah, I've been with some really bad company today. <laughs> I returned to some better company now. Hopefully. Yeah, I got all my uh, cheat notes here yeah. uh, from DICE. So uh, a few hours ago I was playing in Bad Company 2, the single player mode. And I really enjoyed it actually. Well, I experienced kind uh, of a lot of variety actually in this game. Uh, I've been fighting in uh, the Bolivian jungle trying to find this uh, CIA guy called uh, Eric, who's discovered that the Russians have a huge mega we weapon that they're going to use on the US. And uh, it's been a lot of firefights, as we know from the first game. And uh, yeah, it's a good game. So how would you say that the, the, sort of the, the atmosphere, because the first game was very sort of tongue-in-cheek, uh, blow things up, uh, you know, bad behavior, Guys going yeah. wild, kind of buddy thing. movie, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's still there actually. But I've been talking to Dice, and they said that they wanted to tone that bit mm. down a little, uh, because in the first game, the these guys were looking for the gold, if you remember. Yeah. And uh, they were all fighting for their own causes. They didn't care much about the world, the mm. U.S. But in this game, they've wanted to challenge the players, uh, the, the the characters more. Mm and see what they would do in a situation that's more extreme. Mm. So it's a bit more serious action game this time around. All right, so there's some kind of war going on. Right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The Russians, the US. Yeah. And a super mega weapon. <laughs> sounds, sounds like serious business. It is. Um, but, but what kind of, uh, more than, uh, than what you've said, can you give us a bit, a bit more of an insight of, of how it plays and, and what kind of... Uh, yeah. What kind of environments and where, what, you've, what you've seen? Because if, if you haven't played it, so we want to know. Yeah, exactly. Well, I've been in this really intense uh, Bolivian jungle, jungle level, mm. as we said. And, uh, you know, we got this team, this squad, four players. And uh, it's kind of straight out, stri straight on action, but you also got to play it a bit smart. You have to flank them and so mm. on. And at one point, when I got to save this guy, Eric, I had to resolve this hostage situation. So I had to pull off a heavy shot of the guy who was uh, holding him in. Mm. And I also got to play a uh, snow level, quite reminiscent to uh, the snowmobile part in uh, Modern Warfare oh, really? 2. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but this time in a Humvee or something. Not a Humvee, uh, you know, a Jeep. Some sort of military... Vehicle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you get this mixture of uh, running on foot, shooting bad guys, and uh, going in vehicles. And mm. It's yeah. the it's the basic uh, battlefield sandbox. I understand that they're what they're trying to do is a little bit more bring immerse the player into like bring the story into the levels, like every uh, little bit more focused on. Uh, Sort of similar like a Call of Duty game where, where you're always driven to the next objective inside a, a mission. Whereas as the first game was a little bit more, you're giving a map and an objective and then you just do it and there wasn't much yeah. going on between. There's a bit of that actually in this Bolivian level when I meet this guy, uh, Eric, mm. and I have to save him and he immediately links me to the next mission, which is I have to destroy this satellite with the help of the computer geek in the squad. Mm. So they worked on that part, absolutely. And they also worked on you know, making the AI better and making the AI realize that it's a big area that they're running around in and uh, you know, they can use that to their advantage. I understand that like, the, the EA boss, the big boss, he's, he's sort of positioning Bad Company 2 as, as EA's answer to Modern Warfare 2. I, yeah. I suppose he has to say that for the stockholders or something, but how does the team look upon that and how do you well, feel about that? Well, they, they've said to me that, you know, of course, Modern Warfare 2 sold extremely well. And that's kind of what they're aiming for as well. Uh, and they, no surprise there. Yeah, of they course. Sell the <laughs> and uh, they also told me that they need someone to, you know, chase after. Mm. They don't actually want to be on top. Because then you don't uh, put as much effort in it. Mm. And they also said, of course, that they're better at, at some things, like the destruction, for instance. And they also said they're going to have more variety in Bad Company 2. Mm. And um, 
I haven't played the complete game yet, but I, I, I at least know that there are some variety. Hmm. So, uh, if you go through your notes, is there anything that we missed out now that we need to tell well, our viewers? Well, 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 I can check that out. Well, uh, they removed the health injector. Mm. Good thing. A lot of players complained about that in the first game, so they listened to their fans. And, you know, polish, making a better game. Mm. Even more bad company, which Even in this worse. case is good. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, that's it for us. Bad Company 2 will be out early March. Yep. So, uh, and then, you'll, then we'll be back with a review and tell you.